Hello my dear crafters, so I bring to you one more project for our Craft Fair 2023 series. Always do check my playlist called Craft Fair Ideas and Tutorials. The link is below, you can find it in the description because you have from, you know, years ago, from two two years ago when I started to make making this series, two or three years ago, you have many things there. But this year, I wanted to come up with something different for like a, um, a tea pouch or a tea something because uh, it's warm and everybody, I'm telling you, these are like best sellers, very, very well accepted, at least, at least here in the US because it gets pretty cold and people love to get some, um, some tea something. And this is a great gift for co-workers and friends and everything. So here's what I came up with this year. It looks like a wallet. Let me show you another one here. So it's a little pouch, very simple to make. I'm really, really happy with the results of these. Very cute and so quick to make. I'm going to show you right now how to do that. And all you need is, as you might see, might have noticed, in this series, I'm trying to make projects that you can use a six by six paper pad. And if it's double-sided like this one, even better. So that's what I'm trying to do because if you have a 12 by 12, then you get four of these. So anyway, all you need is one sheet of paper that is six by six. And I'm also going to help you. We're gonna do it from scratch because I want to show you how to do, you know, to make the best use of your paper pads, okay? Because everything here is made with one sheet. The whole body of this, I don't know, wallet, pouch, whatever you wanna call it, this also comes from here and, the, and also the decoration, okay? So, okay, so let me show you what it looks like inside. You close it with the Velcro, those mini Velcro dots that I use a lot, and look at this. So you get two tea bags inside. How cool is this? I really love it, it's so simple to make. And I actually really, uh, I was very lucky I went to TJ Maxx the other day. I've been looking for Christmas related and Christmas themed uh, tea bags for a while. I still hadn't find, found any. So I finally found these at TJ Maxx. I'll have the link below to TJ Maxx, okay? Because maybe you can find it online still. But look at, look at this, look how beautiful this is. That's what I found at TJ Maxx. There was only one left there. And then I, inside, and this is metal, so the box by itself is fantastic. Look at this. And you get 60 bags, so 10 of each of these six. And they're all very, very pretty. All Christmas colored, look at that. All very well decorated for Christmas. Let me show you some of those. So, I really was very, very lucky to find that. And the price was very good because it has to be for craft fairs, right? And these little gifts. But look how beautiful the box is. So it's TJ Maxx and it's called Merry Christmas Tea Collection. 60 and it was $10. So each one of these will actually cost, I mean, just the tea bags themselves. This will be 16, 16 cents each. So very, 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 very good price. I'm thinking about uh, charging $4 for each one of these. I think it's a good, it's a good price because it's very, very unique. And anyway, so let's get, let's move to the tutorial. And my dog just went crazy right now. Can you hear him? Pablito. He barks like he means it, but he doesn't. Well, I'm back, I had to kind of stop it because my dog wouldn't stop barking. So anyway, so here it is. We have, this paper pad is by Echo Park. I love their paper, you see them all the time here because they're very, very good quality, very sturdy and double-sided. So they're absolutely perfect. So we're going to use this one today. It's called Christmas Salutations. I also, also have their ephemera for this. But here's the idea, we're going to choose do you see that all Echo Park usually has this? I think all of their paper pads, they always come up with these cutouts, which are perfect for this. This is what I'm using here, see? They all have these little cutouts, and that's where it's from, because I wanted to just stick to one 
paper pad and use as much from it as I could. So we're going to take one of these pages out and we're going to choose, hmm, let's choose one of these, oh, this one, so beautiful. Okay, we're going to use this one. So you take one page. What we need is, we're going to, let's choose now which one we're going to use. I think this one, yeah, this one will look really good. Or this one, no, this is too busy. It has to be something solid because it's already so busy. So either this one or this one. I'm going to do this one. So let's just cut that. I love Echo Park. Their papers are just unbelievably beautiful. So we're going to cut this. I'm just going to cut one. And usually what I do is I go all the way down and I just cut everything that's on the way. So there you go. And I'm coming up still. This is not the only tea related item for craft fair, okay? Because I also bought these, let me show you these honeys here. And I'm going to make one that is one tea bag and one of these honey things. I still haven't come up with the idea yet, but it's coming. It's coming. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and it's really good quality honey and it's raw. So very nice. So anyway, the paper. So just wait because I have another one coming up with that. The piece of paper that we need is six. So this is six, but we need to cut this part out. Okay. Mm. I don't think this one will work because I need six, right? Okay, let me get my other trimmer. Sorry about that. So here we are. I have my other trimmer because I needed six because I want to take that part out. So we cut that out. Six by four. That's all you need. Just I have I have the measurement down below, okay? Six by four. And you're going to score it at okay two let me zoom in for you it always makes it easier there you go good enough so two and seven eighths so just one let me show you close really close here seven eighths okay so here's three it's just one before so two and seven eighths and then one quarter later, it's three and one eighth. One eighth of an inch, okay? That's that. And then you're going to, let me see if this, going to turn it like this. And you're going to score it at one. That's all the scoring you need. And now we are going to get my bone folder here. You're just going to burnish your score lines. This is so simple to make, guys. Really, really, really simple. Uh, okay. So we have this part here that we're going to... We're just going to fold it up and you are going to put some glue in three places. So right here on the corner, right here on the edge. Don't put a lot of... That's why you need to use these little things here. I uh, put too much, but... That's enough. You're going to put all over here in the middle and here just one like little line and then you're going to fold it up, hold it for a while, really press it down. That's why you have to really use good quality glue for this because something that is quick to dry and it's strong. So I use art glitter glue. I always have the link in my description because believe me guys, I've, I have used all the glues you can imagine all of them throughout these years. So this is what it's going to look inside. We're practically done. The other thing that I do too is I round the corners. I like it rounded like this. You don't have to do that. That's per very personal preference, but I'm going to 
I have this corner rounder here that is fantastic. You see me using this all the time. And it has like three widths of, see, it, it rounds in three different ways. More pointy, more rounded, and I found that the second one is perfect. So, I am going to open my box here, look at it and see which one. The next thing you need is, oh, I forgot to cut this. Let's do that now. It's this little thing here. That is half an inch, so it's five eighths of an inch. I found that that's what I like in terms of width. So here it's, oh sorry, here's half, oh the light is right on it, right? So here is half, half an inch, right here. So you're going to just go one more here, it's going to be five eighths of an inch. And that's what you want, five eighths of an inch. Let me zoom out, there you go. The light is right there, it's not, doesn't make it very easy. And here's what I usually do, because since you already have the strip of paper, you're going to cut, the size is one and three quarters, that's the, that's how long it needs to be. So I just cut three and I just use it in, in other, in the, in the next ones. The light here is not helping. Let me move this around a little bit, see if it makes it a little bit easier. So three eighths of an inch is how long you need it to be. So actually now you have three of those ready. And that's what I do. I just make the best of the paper and use as much of it as I can. So seven, I'm going to use the little one now. This one I use for the, for the pouch here, for the, this little wallet, I use the seven. But this one is so tiny that I'm going to use the other one. So there you go. Those. You don't have to do it on four sides. I'm just doing it now, but most of them I didn't. So we're going to put that aside and we're going to choose the T. I think I'm just going to go red and, and red and green because that's what the paper is asking for, I guess. So there you go. You have two. And let's choose, we already chose and already cut it and I can't see it there. There you go. So we're going to use the cutout that comes in the paper pad. So this is the idea. Use as much from your paper pads as you can. And always decorate first and then you put that little, um, that little strip of paper, the closure. So there you go. We're going to... Press it down a little bit. See, it's perfect. Because the paper is so busy, it had to be something very solid. So we have the closure here. And actually, I don't like this closure because it's the sun. No, it looks nice. Okay, so there you go. So here's what I do. I just place it in front like this and I push it to the back. And then I'm going to put some glue here because you're only gluing the back. There you go. So you hold it just a little bit to make sure. I'm going to zoom in again because I'm going to add this little Velcro dots and then we're done. Wasn't that easy? So you add the dot here. The other side. Don't worry because I have the link to everything that I show here, okay? So there you go. Here's how I do it to make sure that it closes right. So you have to have both, both bags here, tea bags. So make sure that it's aligned. You close it and then you press it down. Uh, there you go. We're done. Wasn't that very easy and so practical? You can make like a hundred of these a day. Okay, that's that's a stretch. But see, and you still have this, and you use it to decorate your cards. I love using scraps to make like card bases. So there you go. We have a beautiful tea bag pouch with two tea bags. 
and yeah you can make as many as your heart desires let me zoom out I'm gonna turn this light back <laughs> it's kind of getting in the way so there you go here are all the ones that I have been making I still have a have quite a lot to make but as I told you stick around because I am coming up with another one for tea bags uh, this one is kind of very cute. I really love it. I'm very proud of this one. But I'm coming up with one that I can use these raw tea uh, tea bags as well because they're so cute and they're very good quality. So here is our project for today. Let me know what you think. I love that, you know, yesterday I got a, an email from one of you guys and I was so happy because uh, she bought the class, the you know, the lip balm class, and she sent me a picture. She made like 30 of them. <laughs> she was so excited, and I was so happy that she shared, and she took a picture of all the ones that she made, and they were so pretty. Thank you so much for sharing. So that's it for today, guys. Let me know what you think, if you like it, if you love it, if you couldn't care less. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. I'll, I'll just continue watching the series. It's going on, and till the end of September, I'll have at least two videos a week, but I think I, I have way more than that. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. Just a quick reminder that if you're interested in making these beautiful little purses, they actually carry a lip balm inside, and not just that, but also how to make these very, very nice gift card holders they look like this inside you have the link below for my online course it's very affordable $9.99 and you also learn how to make a pom-pom charm so there you are click on the link below mm -hmm.